the East African region may have been the last in Africa to report cases of COVID-19, but it is now beginning to feel the effects of the viral infection. All but two East African community member states have recorded positive cases of COVID-19. Rwanda leads with 40 cases, followed by Kenya with 25 cases, Tanzania with 12 and Uganda with 9. Rwanda announced a total lockdown last week, which includes the suspension of all unnecessary movement outside the home. All borders are closed except for goods and cargo. All returning Rwandans and legal residents must quarantine for 14 days. All international flights have been suspended and all areas of worship have been closed. Public gatherings have been suspended and restaurants and cafes are closed and may only provide takeaway services. Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania have announced partial lockdowns, which includes closing of borders except for cargo and goods. All returning citizens and legal residents must quarantine for 14 days. International flights have been suspended. Public gatherings have also been suspended and all places of worship have been closed. Learning institutions in Kenya... Uganda and Tanzania have also been closed. In Kenya, national carrier Kenya Airways has suspended all international flights, while in Tanzania, Air Tanzania has also suspended all international flights. In Tanzania, public servants have been barred from unnecessary movement outside the country. South Sudan and Burundi have closed their borders, including their airspaces, even though they have no reported cases. They have also banned public gatherings, suspended international flights in and out of the countries, and closed all learning institutions. Sarah Kimani, SBC News, 